Hi, it's Mark here from miaccctv.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at how to set up your Alliance DVR to send email notifications to you um, using a Google Mail account. In this video we'll walk you through setting up the Google Mail account and then entering in the information into your DVR to enable you to send different email notifications when different events happen. This can be used for line crossing, uh, intrusion detection or just generally motion detection. So the first things that we'll need to do is actually set up your Google Mail account. You can do this by going to accounts.google.com. I'll include a link in the description. But for this, we're just going to set up a dummy email account. And we're just going to call it MIE CCTV Notify. So we've just put in for our name there that it's just the CCTV. The email address is MIE CCTV Notify. The password will just be a password of your choosing. And then we're just putting in a generic birthday. Um, you just need to fill in all the fields, basically. Um, and then verify with Google Mail itself with the verification at the bottom. So we'll just need to agree to the terms and conditions once we've agreed to those. That's our email account all set up and we'll actually just have to jump over to the DVR so that we can input the settings. What we're going to do first is I'll just copy the email address to save us entering it in at a, at a later date. Okay, so now we've accessed our DVR over the network. Um, you already need to have your DVR set up to be accessible on your network. Uh, I'll include a link to a video on how to do this in the description as well. We need to go to the configuration now though and go down to the email settings. Now in here is where we're going to punch in all the email settings. So the first thing you're going to need to do is the username, which is the email address we just set up, which is notify at gmail.com. We're going to enter in the password that we set up for that account. And then we need to put in Google Mail's email servers. Now those are smtp.gmail.com. And we also need to change the SMTP port to 465. And we want to enable the SSL. This option here that says attach image will uh, attach an image to the email that sends it through to you. Now this will attach three images at intervals of two seconds. For the sender address, uh, again this needs to be the Gmail account that we just set up and the receiver address will need to be wherever you want the email sent to. So in our example we're going to use our info address which is info at mieccctv.co.uk. Once all this information is entered you can just click save at the bottom and that completes the part of setting up the email address now all we need to do is go to the different areas of the DVR and tell it that you want to send emails on uh, those notifications so what we're going to do now is go into the line crossing detection so for this what we'll do is we'll actually draw a line and this uh, this is a feature that we want to use so if somebody crosses a line in a certain direction we want the DVR to send us an email showing uh, exactly who crossed that line. So what we do is we click draw area and then that will actually produce a line onto the image and then we can just uh, drag and move the line. Now we can do it in different directions. We can either do it from A to B or B to A or you can have it in both directions. So basically that will notify you if the line's crossed in either direction. Now you go to the arming schedule and you can actually set this up so it's not on all the time. So maybe out of office hours or just certain times of the day. For our example, we're just going to do it 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So we can leave the schedule completely highlighted. Now we go into the linkage method tab and this is where we want to tick the send email box. Now this is what instructs the DVR to send us an email when this event happens. Once this is ticked, anybody that crosses that line in either direction uh, will trigger an alert which will then send us an email to our email address. So if that's triggered, as shown on screen now, we will receive an email on that account. We can also use the email feature to um, also use on uh, intrusion detection, which is a way of narrowing down the field of, as if you're notified. So in this example, what we're going to do is highlight an area on a door. Um, and so basically if anybody enters that area then you'll receive a notification. We'll then move on to showing you that you can actually use it to notify just on motion detection. So if any motion is detected within the whole frame it will send you an email. So for this example we've drawn the area that we, uh, we want of interest. Once again the arming schedule uh, can be set and the linkage method again we go in and click send email. 
And this example, when motion detection is occurred, we'll go into the linkage method and click send email also. Now these are just a few different ways that you can use this to notify you when motion has occurred uh, on your DVR. This completes this video tutorial. Uh, if you'd like to purchase the Alliance DVR, you can purchase it from mieccTV.co.uk. And for more help tutorials and information, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.